the 8th National Assembly had the infantry to boo a sitting president during budget presentation. Is it not shameful? Mr. Obilo, first and foremost, I uh, would never comment on that issue because unfortunately, I was not in the chamber. But you saw the picture. The picture could be deceptive. You uh, saw the video. It, it, for how many minutes? And it was Yeah, for how many minutes? A president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. of Nigeria being booed by members of the National Assembly, even when some clapped for him. Let, 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 uh, uh, let me tell you my stand on that kind of issue. I would never be part of senators that would boo Mr. President. You know why? Because we are talking about President of Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is our respect. Mm. I'm from Saudi Arabia. We always get my respect. I would not be part of it without boo Mr. President. He's, he's our president and, and he's an elderly man. In our culture, you don't even raise your voice to an elderly man. I won't be part of that kind of group that will boom Mr. President. It's 75 year old one. I won't do it. I won't be part of it. Are you not being emotional? No. It's it respect. Respect to green, white, and green. When hunger comes, respect disappears. No, I'm talking about booing. Don't tell me those who put booing Mr. President yesterday are hungry. No. You Remember, know? they disagreed they, they, they are, with they, the president's achievement, telling the president indirectly, no, the people are hungry. There's a better way to do that, not by, not by booing Mr. President when he's delivering a speech or when, he's, or, or when he's, he's presenting a budget. What is the consequence of this? Where is Nigeria headed? How do you interpret what is going on? On a serious note, I think we need prayer. It's getting to a level that people are, in a way, doesn't, give, doesn't even care again. They, they are bottled up. They want to express themselves, either rightly or wrongly. They are looking for every opportunity to, to, to exp express their displeasure. So, and and this, this election year, election period, and this when people believe this when they have the, they, 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 they have the power to express themselves by hearing their voice through their statements and through their thumbprint. But people will not expect it from those who are also members of the system that have impoverished the people, I, members I, of the National I, Assembly. I, I just said to you that Sodia Kobi will not be part of members that will boo Mr. President. The last time I remembered some parliamentarians were booed was before the First Republic, and we know what that led to. Exactly. It led to riots in the northern part of the country. Nigeria, I know. Like I said, once again, Mr. Abilo, we should not over, overflow this. Yeah, Sodia Kobi is with you. And I'm telling you once again that I will never be part of any people that will boo Mr. President. Has the president lived up to expectation? Uh, it, it depends on where, you, where you look, how and where you look at it. Because you have been a keen supporter of this president. Of course, yes. You know why? The president that supervises a country that is the poorest in the world. Mr. Obilo, you know, it's so unfortunate that we are practicing presidential system of government. You want parliamentarian system? I said it earlier on that the cost of even running presidential system of government is three huge. You want regionalism? That's why I support the relation of power. And the president is refusing to sign certain amendments that will help the emergence of the state. Like I said to you, that's why at the moment I'm not in support of presidential system of government. You know why? Because you know, you know, I said to I said earlier on on what I what I'm standing on, mm. like regional integration. Look, I believe that we achieve a lot during the the parliamentary system of government, and in a way, the right cost of this presidential system is too huge. A country spending seventy percent of its budget on required expenditure can never have a meaningful development. At the moment, we are not even spending up to thirty percent of our total revenue on. The, on, 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 on capital expenditure. So, since something must be done, we can't continue this way. There is a rail line from Lagos to Ibadan. Should I say well done to Soji Akombi? Of course. Yes. Why should I say well done? You know what? Let me break it down for you. Initially, two, two years ago, when Mr. President presented the budget, the equity contribution of that project was omitted. What the did budget. you do? Along the line, the minister 
came back with the details at the committee level because committee level is so important when it comes to budget. All those presentations are just ceremony. So it's the committee that is the cocoa. Exactly. So the committee, in their own wisdom, accommodated what was missed when Mr. President presented the budget. And you have to lobby for that? No. I, I, funnily, I, I don't even remember that committee. Believe me, that's land. I mean, I mean land transport committee. You know. But eventually, they, they knew the importance. And it's an envelope budget that you can't add more to the budget, but you can move around. Okay. So they, they, they move around and find a way to accommodate 15% of equity contribution. And along the line, appropriation committee took it off, saying that Mr. President did not mention the 15% in his presentation. Unfortunately, we had information. So that can be and few people took it off. And we're able to get that 15 percent back mm. to the uh, to the budget and in a way the, the, the whole thing started and, and, and along the line when we got the approval now that the tussle between lagos Ibadan and cardinal cano mm. well, we stood our ground and thank god here we are today it's a success story when is that project going to be completed next first quarter next year they First quarter of 2019. They are doing um, test running at the moment. And that is a happy thing for the Southwest. That, to me, that's the biggest project ever from the nature, from the, I mean, from, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean from the federal government to the, to the Southwest. It will open up a new business corridor. More than that, create job creation, you know, even safety, I mean, road maintenance will be reduced, you know, so many other things. And also it benefit immensely from it, especially our Farmers. Then who but, said Buhari is not working? No, it depends. When people are hungry, when you're hungry, you're angry. Even, you know, in a way, FEC will not fill your stomach. Mm. Gigantic building will not put, indirectly put smile on your face when you're hungry. And I think something must be done on this economy. People are hungry and angry. And back to my state, or your state. We can never be happy with a government that the only money that goes into the economy is only salary. It's not enough to boost the economy for your state. So it's time to kick the APC out of the government house. I believe so. And Lanle is the man, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a candidate. And you think Lanley is capable? Of course, yes. Experience. What makes him capable? Uh, go and check his profile. You have been around for a while. Yes, they've always been around. You have been around. For yeah, a while. yeah, like, yeah. Jumabi yeah. has been around for a while. You, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, what I'm trying to tell you that, go and see Lanley antecedents. Lanley, it's, it's a man that will not sit down and accumulate unnecessary wealth. Who is this? Who is accumulating this wealth? Let me be honest with you. It, 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 it's not an hidden fact. Go and check the major contractors. Executing a same project. Who is accumulating this wealth? So I, said, I, I, I said it to you. Thus, I know you're brilliant and investing in journalism is your line. Okay. Please dig further and identify people behind those contracts being executed. You can see that capital flight is order of the day in other states, Mr. Obilo. Where is the capital flying to? You know, you know, you know. Lagos? No, it could be anywhere but America. But it could be anywhere but outside of your state. And the people of your so far. That's it. Because you know why? The money that's supposed to be spent within the local locality have been put together to execute one or two projects. And why the contractors? They are not from here. Eventually they have to pay with their profit. So the profit will not boost of your state economy. So we are only left with salary. And that is, that is not enough to boost our economy in New York State. So hunger will not part from our people unless we change the government. SOG for Senate 2019. By the grace of God. You have a Jim to contend with. I don't mind. I've been, looking, I've been looking forward to that for a long time. You've been looking forward to this. And I'm coming in as an underdog. He's a superman, super impro. Are you the underdog? Yeah, I'm the underdog. You've accepted that. Of course, I'm the underdog. So, so Jia can be the underdog. Please, I like that. A Jim is the top dog. Of course. He's, he's, he's an emperor. He's a kind of Goliath stuff. So, I'm just an underdog. So. And David will bring him down. Wait, wait, let's wait till then. God, 
God is, our, God is still on the throne. Do you have the stone? <laughs> it's not about me, it's about the masses. Are you speaking to the masses, the masses in a language they understand? Yeah, I'm trying my best to do that. You know why? Because you know, it's easier for the masses to determine who to vote for. You know, two of us have served them in the same capacity. So they can judge their performance and determine who they want to, who, 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 who to re-elect. Why are you leaving it to them? Why not convince them to go with of you? Of course, that's why I'm doing that. That's why we go around to actually to sell so their company as a product. Or once their company have done. You know, you know, there are ways you can assess your lawmaker, your representative. First, the bill and motion you or she sponsored, is activities at committee level. Number three, is stand on national issues. Number four, pro debt attracted. Number five, pro debt personal executed. Number, num number six, empowerment to his people. And the two of us have done it before. So we're telling people that those are the areas you can use to assess the two of us, who you want to send back to represent you. You defeated Lan Lane in 2015. <laughs> Now, Lan Lane is the governorship candidate of your party. Of course, yes. If you can defeat Lan Lane, who is Ajimobi that you can defeat, right? You are saying that I'm, I'm still an underdog. Huh? <laughs> you are saying that I'm still an underdog. I thought you always wanted to be governor. Just wait. Time will tell. It's it, it, so much God ordains. We wait on God. Some people are scared that Ajimobi will beat you. Well, let's wait and see. Like I said, I'm coming as underdog. I'm being an underdog. Underdog, I'm enjoying it. To me, it's like, hey, People will decide. It's not about size. It's not about. <laughs> but you know, most underdogs don't win all the time. Yeah, but sometimes they do. They spring surprises. So you have confidence in yourself. Of course, so, yeah. so, when, it to, when it comes to that, believe me, I do strongly, 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 strongly. Is politics about money? Yes and no. Yes and no. You know why? My district, it's about eighty percent. A band center, and I know they they, 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 they surely know they are left from right, and and people that determine who wins are the teachers, splash principal, that's one. Number two, the civil servants. Number three, the pensioners. Number four, market men, market men and women. Number five, youth students. Mm. Number six, Okada rider. So people that determine who wins. And you have all of them in your pocket, right? I didn't say, I didn't say so. I'm pleading to them to support me. I mean, to do the assessment without sentiment. I've done my bit. The empirical evidence is everywhere. Whoever that's contesting again should come up with empirical evidences, what he or she has done. Give me more empirical evidence of what you have done. Just give me more, more evidence. Okay. Go and look at uh, Agbeni Methodist Church Primary School. The school, the school was built by Baba Olowo about 70 years ago. A four, five-story building with three classrooms, two units. Nothing was done to that school. The school of capacity of 2,000 became a school that can only accommodate about just 50. We turned it around. I, I can't call that renovation. I, I can call that reconstruction. Is that your job? It's not my job, but you know why? That's a rough foundation. Before I became a governor, I mean a senator. Mm. And that shows I have a foundation that I've been using to give that society. Either being a senator or not, if I'm being blessed by Almighty God, I was brought up to give back society. So being in a way where your people even given the opportunity, you know, you know, when they give back to a child, on on his name ceremony, they can't name senator. Mm. It's people in their own Velocity, vote in and name you senator. So you owe them. You have a covenant with them. I'll be senator forever. And thank God to them. So I owe them. I owe them forever. Every day I answer to senator Akobi, I owe it to people. Are we coming up with the kind, right kind of legislation that will lift millions of Nigerians out of poverty? Something like land reform remains a big problem in Nigeria. Something like local government autonomy, autonomy. remains an issue. Exactly. Something like restructuring of the Nigerian state remains an issue. Yes. And that is what senators like you should be giving to the people. Mr. Obilo, go and check my record once again. 
I don't list it to you. Yeah, you, ha you, 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 you have, have you have good committee record, no doubt. Yeah, and you know why these eight Senate were able to achieve that to this level? level. They carried it in the state. That shows whoever that is and and go with present situation in this country should ask any citizen or any, any state as well as any candidate that we use support look at autonomy for the vote for them it's important now that people must ask we the candidates what they want and what we intend to do so before we they vote for us we must have a covenant with them local government is a must if you want to actually reduce poverty among our people without that pss, and I pray that I will give an opportunity once again to continue where I, I mean, I'm rounding up. Let's look at the man called Ladaja. <laughs> what has Ladaja become? That, Does he become a restless politician that wants to carve up an empire that he alone can rule over? You know, Sister Ladaja is like a father to me. I've never been his political follower. So sincerely, I can't answer that question. No. You, just, both of you were in the same party until recently when yeah. he came to the Zenith Labour Party. Sin sincerely, briefly. I won't lie to you. Yes, briefly. For about four or five months. What happened? Who provoked Ladoja? I think Baba Ladoja did it. Brother, to answer that question. No. You are a critical stakeholder in the ADC. You, you know, see, it's a personal decision to stay in the party. Something happened. Leave. You know, what I'm trying to tell you is that for Balaja to leave a party, he has the reasons. He insisted on getting a deputy governorship candidate from another zone, not from his saying, right? You know, in, in, you know, sometimes you know, you, you should be careful to 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 to, to present or represent other people's minds. Mm. So I won't double into that because I'm not so sure I have the facts, and it's going to be unfair on both Balaja and myself to start saying something that I'm not sure of. Senator Akombi, how can you not have the facts? Mr. Obilo, how can you not have the facts? Tell me how I can have the facts of... Who and, then can? And I'm sure Babala Loja will be better position to say, to answer this question. You mean Ladoja is going to work against Lanley at last? No. No, no. So, what is yes? You know what I need you know what you need to do? You mean Ladoja is gonna work against Lalin at last? You know what you need to do, Mr. Obilo? Why can't you be patient and wait till then? Perhaps, that's my that's my advice. A, perhaps it will be a grand alliance. That's my advice for you. So something will happen. For for for, for, for look at Vatican Arena, two months is a long journey. So something will happen. Something will happen. And Ladoja will not work against Lan Lane. The same land he wanted to have the, the, the governorship ticket of the PDP. And when he wasn't sure, he moved to the ADC. And they fought and they fought and they got it. Then he left again. Mr. Obilo. Oh, what is happening to Ladoja? Mr. Obilo, what I know that Baba Ladoja is a very brilliant man. Mm. A fantastic politician. I'm sure he has a joker on his slave. And with that joker, land will we win. By the grace of God. Ajimo is in trouble. Well, you're saying so. Adilabu will not win. You're saying so. She Makinde will not win. I start with, I start with ADC. That's my party and that's my platform. And you will not come later to the APC. You know, let me... let me. Because you, you seem to love APC. That's let, what let, you, 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 you let, let me... On a serious note, I'm kind of person, I'm a lawyer person. And it took me time before I could part with APC. You know why? Because I, I, I have been born with people there. You know, it's not a one-man show when we started. It's about people. And I have my bond with them. And luckily for me, I feel comfortable with ADC because most of us are still together in ADC. Lam is still there. Exactly. So my brother, is still there, right? my brother, that's my leader, is still there too. So I feel, to me, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm changing party. Let me be honest with you. Does the aid... PC, ADC. Looking at my environment, I'm comfortable with my people. And politics I, is local. It's very local. I have Lan Lenyu with me. I have Dakolan with me. So many, so, so, so many of our crew. I mean, they're like family. I have my family with me. You are a member of the Senate Committee on Aviation. Yes, please. What happened to Nigeria Air that this administration sang about? Actually, the, 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 the Nigerian Air is still on course. Because I'm a bit involved. 
through my committee. You know, what we're trying to do is just to have a window. Nigeria here is going to be 100% in a way private sector driven projects. What we are putting on the ground is structure uh, and the markets. No, that's sudden announcement. Let, let me be honest with you now. I open up to you a bit. You know, investors are wary of coming in during election time. And in a way, and they are not attaching and, 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 and a bogus condition that they want to have a lien on a sovereign wealth where they can come in. You, you and I know that, I mean, that's ridiculous. But you can't blame them to their investors. They are not charity organization. They want to protect their interest. And it's going to be so sad for any country to use the sovereign wealth just for a to guarantee an airline. 200 million people sovereign wealth. Just an airline. What's wrong with the investors? Are they taking us for granted? In a way, they, they, they worry. This is a third, they, 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 this, this is an African country. And elections are in the corner. And if I'm in the issue, I will ask for more too, to get protected. They, they, I mean, average foreign investors always get worried when election time in Africa. But we should have known this before now. The, no. way, the way the project was pursued, as if it was ready and it was good to fly. Sincerely, it was, because I have to be fair. Changing party will not, will not permit me to run any government down. Because I have to be honest, mm. God fearing. They, they, on that issue, they've done their best. Even there are so many small stakeholders that, that, that they try to get, I mean, set, set aside, like paying the pensioners of, of former Nigerian Airways. Mm. There's that, 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 that obstacles around the line, but that can be managed. But the investors overnight, and I can't blame them, they said, yeah, we agreed to come, let's wait until after election. So we though they feel more comfortable. Why are they always holding us to ransom these so-called investors? Even the Chinese come to Nigeria yeah. with Chinese prisoners. Yes. yes. We know that. Yeah, thank God you know that. Yes, they come with Nigeria Chinese prisoners, prisoners to work as a laborer. To yeah. work as laborers here. Our people don't have jobs. You see, we are still on the same page. That's why I'm saying that we must find a way to reduce our overhead costs. By the time you're spending 70% of the total revenue on running costs, you can't develop. They are taking advantage of our vulnerability. And something must be done. And we remain vulnerable. Honestly, we do. We must find a way to change this. You go to Abuja, you go to the Lagos, by the end of the railway, you see Chinese people working. Of course, yes. Our people you know, don't have work. Mr. Abilo, even the little we are getting out of them is, is just because we are, in a way, Putting our foot but down. But we have a local content art. That's what I'm telling you initially. Whenever they are coming there, they are the one funding the project. Part of what they request for is that the local content agreement have to be rewritten. And we always agree. We don't have a choice because, to be honest with you, we need those projects. And China is the only is the only country now with the lowest interest rate. I can understand the way you feel. I feel that way too. It's so painful. I, 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 I youth are sitting down at home and they are bringing prisoners to do the job that's meant for our own youth. But in a way, uh, we hope within the next I mean, decade, we get out of this. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Of course, we should cover up. We are failed as a nation. I won't say that. You're sounding too strong. But, but being ashamed, yes. But Phil, mm, I tend to be a bit... Finally, you are the vice chairman of the Senate Committee on Solid Minerals. I thought Buhari was going to create a new industry out of solid minerals. On a serious note, so when it comes to solid mineral sector, it's, it's, a, it's, it's high gamble. Investors are skeptical because it's like Russian roulette. Let me put it that way. You know Russian roulette? Mm -hmm. That's one to ten, you know? And no investors, no bank will embark on such. But what they're trying to do, which they've done really well, is now right now, at least they have a roadmap. Things are a bit better, not as expected, but at least they have started moving in the right direction in, 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 in area of exploitation of mineral resources available in our nation. Don't we need constitutional amendment to give the states more power to control the resources in their land? This 8th Senate, we did something like to that, is not amendment per se, but like a policy of the ministry that 13% derivation are available to states with certain number of 
revenue generated from rural resources. So you feel, with regard to solid minerals, the government hasn't done badly? Not too well, but on the right direction. Um, initially, there was no direction. Nothing. So there's no direction? Yeah, no direction, sincerely. Fabi did well. Come February uh, 2019, you're winning your election, right? Inshallah, by the grace of God. Inshallah. By the grace of God. I wish you well. Thank you, Mr. Obilo. Senator Wakombi. And you know why I'm here? You just call me and I just give my consent. Three things. Okay. You're my friend. Mm. I respect for you. The third one is that I feel that it's a spiritual connection between you and I. Last four years, it happened. You, I, I, I was your host and I won the election. Mr. Obilo, Christopher, I'm winning this election again. I wish you well.